Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we'll be discussing about a very fundamental question that what exactly JavaScript is? And should you be really learning JavaScript in today's time? Let's answer the first part of the question, what JavaScript is. It is a programming language, that's it. It's a programming language. So what is a programming language? A programming language is a language which you can use to instruct computers to perform certain actions. That's it. So C++ is a programming language, C is a programming language, Python is a programming language. There are so many programming languages out there. Then why do you keep on hearing about JavaScript so much? What is special about JavaScript? In order to understand that, we have to go back a little. That is about 20 years. When the web browsers were launched, they included three languages, which they still do at this point. The first one was HTML, the second one was CSS and the third one was JavaScript. HTML and CSS together allowed you as a developer to create web pages which can be styled, designed and seen by other people. This could be changing background colors, text colors, you know, changing the opacity and so on. JavaScript on the other hand was a programming language, a full-fledged programming language baked into the web in the very starting days. Why do we not hear about so much about HTML and CSS as programming languages? Because, well, they do exist, but their scope is very much limited to the web itself. JavaScript, on the other hand, in the last 18 to 20 years has expanded out of web. And that was majorly due to the adoption of Node.js. Now, Node.js is a runtime. It's not a programming language. It's a runtime which uses JavaScript as the programming language. So what does that mean? That means that initially JavaScript was built for running just inside the web. It was slow, it was just there, it was just for the minimal use cases. But what some people did is that they took out the engine which processes JavaScript inside the browser and took it to a real computer, gave it superpowers like accessing file system and so on, and it became a new runtime. So this was the start of JavaScript spreading in the world outside of web browsers. Now, once that happened, there was no going back. Why? Because now realize that when Node.js was launched, JavaScript is in a very special position. It is a programming language which can pretty much do anything you want, just like any other language, but it is also the only language supported inside of a web browser, our only real programming language, right? You cannot run C++ inside the browser, you cannot run Python inside the browser, but you can run JavaScript inside the browser as well as outside the browser. So all JavaScript needed was a huge push to the web in order to just explode in terms of the developers who are learning that. And that happened. Over the last 10 years, you have seen there's an explosion in the number of websites, in the number of apps, products, and things you access using your browser. I mean, there are whole dedicated laptops like Chromebooks, which just come with a browser installed. So that means that browsers have become super powerful in the last five to 10 years. And that is because of mass adoptions of internet, the web in general, which has given a huge boost to JavaScript. And the reason for that is because that is the only programming language which can run inside of a web browser, at least before WebAssembly was there. All right, so now we know what JavaScript is, why it became so popular in the last 10, 15, 20 years. Now let's come to the part, should you be learning JavaScript? The short answer is, Yes, the long answer is, like we discussed with Node.js, the moment JavaScript got out of the browsers, the first thing what happened was that it got as a server side language, right? Now you could write servers in JavaScript. Soon it also got expanded into mobiles. So you were able to code applications for Android and iOS with frameworks, with hybrid frameworks like React Native and Ionic right? So the longer answer version is yes, you should learn JavaScript because it's just too powerful and too versatile at this point to ignore. Why? Because if you just have one language you can learn and that language is JavaScript, you can work on multiple platforms. You can work on web, you can work on mobile applications, you can work on backend. I mean, the whole CodeDam website, the CodeDam.com tech stack, which is a platform for people like you to learn web development and full stack development. That's completely built on JavaScript. The backend is in JavaScript. The frontend is in JavaScript, obviously. The initial versions of the applications are built 
in JavaScript that is in React Native. I mean, it's super powerful as an individual developer, especially if you're somebody who wants to develop a lot of things on your own. JavaScript just makes so much sense in today's time to learn because of its power and how much it is present all across the developer community. There is so much support, so much content, and so much already done for you to just start developing some amazing application with javascript and unlike 15 to 20 years before when javascript's performance used to be worse there is so much work done on these virtual machines like chrome v8 engine which run the javascript code that they are now super optimized they are super fast and they pretty much come very close in performance if you just write good code right it comes very close in performance Sometimes even native languages, I won't go there that much because that's a slippery slope. Some people don't really like to compare performance of a static uh, type language like C, C++ with JavaScript. But yeah, I mean, it's not that bad, right? In terms of performance. So it's a good choice to learn in 2021. On this note, if you're trying to learn JavaScript, I think you might also be interested in becoming a front-end, a back-end or a full-stack developer with JavaScript tech stack, right? If that is the case, Check out the learning paths we have at Codam, which is a full stack web developer learning path, an interactive path to actually become a full stack developer by building projects, completing labs and exercises and watching high quality videos along the way. The links for that is in the description. Try out learning from full stack web developer learning path. That is all for this video. If you like this video, make sure you're leaving a like and commenting your views on this. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.